Let's talk about Eyeless International. If you're new to Eyeless International, they trade on the OTC ticker ILUS. I've covered this stock on the channel before and I believe that this has huge potential in the long term. Eyeless gained 13% on Friday, but is still down over 70% on its 52 week high and I think this could be the beginning of a big run. So today we'll be looking at who exactly are Eyeless International. Eyeless have just released their very impressive Q2 financials so let's assess them. I will look at the very latest news including huge acquisitions and share price structure plans. Then I will look at the charts and finally give you my conclusion on Eyeless International. Before we get into the video it takes a lot of time to do this research so if you find any value in this video can I ask you to smash the like button. It literally costs nothing but it helps me out so much. I'm aiming to get 200 likes on this video help me make it happen. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new content like this. It's 100% free and a great way to show your support for the channel. And if you want free money consider opening a Webull trading account using my referral link. Deposit just $5 and get 2 free shares worth up to $2000. What do you think of Eyeless International? Have you invested and what price target do you have? I want to point out that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Now let's get into it. So who are Eyeless International and what do they do? Eyeless is an M&A company operating out of New York, London, Dubai focused on adding shareholder value by innovation and globally oriented growth. Basically they're a holding company. Eyeless has evolved out of the industrial sector mainly from emergency services products, emergency response vehicles, vehicle conversions, EVs, wearable tech and smart tech with the mission to acquire businesses in technology engineering and manufacturing space worldwide with strong management and potential to grow rapidly with the ability to benefit from cross-pollination of territories, products and skills from other group companies. We can see here that they currently hold four companies and we'll talk briefly about each one of these now. First we have E-Raptor. This is a company that designs and manufactures the world's first electric six-wheel utility vehicle. The E-Raptor uses the most advanced battery technology for smooth and easy drive with excellent power. The E-Raptor is fit for purpose in most industrial and agricultural applications and commonly customized into firefighting vehicles, medical vehicles and maintenance utility vehicles. FB Technologies. This is a holding company for the Eyeless Group's fire and vehicles divisions within specific core sectors where the potential of the group's technology platform skills, expertise and manufacturing bases can be maximized and shared. The group's technologies are focused around modernization, cost efficiency and solving the modern problem that cities are growing larger and more congested with more demand for clients to perform quicker in more difficult conditions with better environmental practices and all at a lower cost. Firebug are a UK firefighting equipment manufacturer using high technology disruptive water mist technology. The equipment offers firefighter safety with a reduced water consumption. With water being a valuable resource around the world, the mist nozzle deliberately uses less water during operation. Studies have shown a significantly increased efficiency in water usage during like-for-like -like product trials. A product that protects the environment makes firefighters safer and reduces operation costs. Firebug have a whole bunch of products that are already on the market. I would highly recommend that anyone thinking about investing take a look at the company's website. There's so much information on this Firebug website alone that I could easily make a video on just this. Then we have TVC, the vehicle converters. They design and convert vehicles for specialist applications such as emergency services, mobile hospitals, medical ambulances, military and oil and gas. Looking at the TVC website, we can see that there are a lot of vehicle conversions such as converting vehicles for healthcare, food trucks, and making custom trailers. TVC are masters of industry for the past 15 years, fabricating and converting specialist vehicles for a broad range of clients. And the range of clients is impressive. It includes some of the world's biggest companies such as Apple, Ford, KFC, Toyota, the US Army, and the Red Cross. So at this point, you probably see the correlation between these companies and what Eyeless are trying to achieve with each merger and acquisition. They've already stated it. Ability to benefit from cross-pollination of territories, products and skills from other group companies. They have a company that makes all-terrain vehicles, a company that makes a range of fire safety products, and a company that specializes in converting all types of vehicles for different types of industries. Before we look at the financials, I think it's very important to look at the progress that Eyeless have been making recently. Eyeless has signed letters of intent for the acquisition of a Texas-based specialist oil and gas fire system and pump manufacturer and the Tennessee based truck bed manufacturer specializing in firefighting bush trucks. Eyeless is now in the final stages of completing its due diligence on the acquisitions 
whilst the team are planning the growth strategy and rollout. The Texan company has a long history and strong reputation in the industry having supplied companies such as Shell and Exxon. The specialist fire system and pump manufacturer houses complete design manufacturing and fabrication facilities within its large facility. The company achieved revenue of $8 million in 2020 and currently has an existing order book of $2 million. While the Tennessee company also has a long history and multi-million revenue inflows, it is expected that these companies can continue to grow and add significant value to the Eyeless brand. In addition to BCD Fire, which supplies, installs and maintains fixed fire systems and life safety equipment in the Middle East, Eyeless is also assessing the acquisition of another fixed fire system company in the United States. This week, BCD Fire has been awarded the contract for the supply and installation of fire systems including fire alarm panels and detectors, a central battery system and a fire sprinkler system for a commercial tower in Dubai. When completed, this building will be the world's tallest commercial tower. The BCD team is working under the main contractor for this project and has commenced work on the first phase of the project with the contract value for this phase sitting at just under $1 million. BCD Fire has also recently been awarded a contract for the installation of fire alarm systems and a central battery system for a 13-storey residential building on the upmarket Dubai Hills Estate in Dubai. This contract is valued at 426000 and is for the first two new buildings on the estate, with the BCD team now working on being awarded a contract for the second building. The main contractor for Emirates Hospital has recently awarded BCD a contract for the installation of the hospital's new fire system. This contract, although smaller in value at $141,000, has potential for significant growth should the team be successful in bidding for additional installation requirements and an ongoing maintenance contract. Although each of these contracts are quite small, they provide a gateway to more contracts which have the potential to provide Eyeless with growing revenue stream over time. And with the addition of potential ongoing maintenance this will provide Eyeless with a recurring revenue stream, which is always great to see. So on Friday, Eyeless International announced strong second quarter of 2021 results. Along with significant milestones achieved, the company achieved a revenue of $2.86 million in the second quarter. This represents a 462% increase on the first quarter revenue of $509,000. In addition to increased revenue, Eyeless reported that its second quarter gross profit is up 375% to $992 compared to the first quarter gross profit of $209,000. In addition to its increased revenue and profit, Eyeless reports that it has strengthened its balance sheet with assets increasing to just under $24.5 million and the cash in the bank has also increased. Management have continually prioritize profitable growth and cash liquidity in order to allow it to execute the deals on its radar. With the number of new acquisitions in the pipeline, Eyeless is in a strong position to complete its targeted deals. Eyeless has already acquired three companies in 2021 and is currently in discussions with five further acquisition targets, four of which are in the United States and one of which is in Europe. Looking at the income statement, we can see this 2.8 million in revenue and the 992,000 gross profit. They have also amassed 447,000 of operating expenses, giving Eyeless a total net profit of just over half a million. But more importantly, looking at the balance sheet, we can see that they have total assets of $24.4 million and total liabilities of $8.3 million. This is a very strong balance sheet and a big improvement on the previous quarter. Overall, Eyeless has an asset to liability ratio of nearly 3 to 1, which is fantastic for an OTC company that is in the process of rapid growth. On page 9 of the Q2 financial statements, we can see that Eyeless currently has common stock totaling 1.2 billion shares. But in a letter to shareholders on July 16th, CEO Nick Link announced that Eyeless is in the process of completing a reorganization of its share structure and is following a phased approach with the goal of achieving an outstanding share structure of well below 1 billion Completion of the first phase of the reorganization is imminent and Eyeless is making excellent progress with its uplisting plans. Which will be hugely advantageous to shareholders, this uplisting should be completed in a significantly shorter time frame than the originally planned 18 months. Nick Link concluded by saying, The share structure reorganization is due to be completed soon and like our technology, our uplisting plans are innovative 
and will be revolutionary in terms of benefit to the greater oilless family. We have an action-packed few weeks lined up in the US and are excited to reveal more news along the way. So there should be plenty of short-term catalysts to help propel this stock upwards. Looking at the chart since the start of the year, Eyeless is currently up over 3000%. We can see back here in January, this is when the new management took over and the company became what it is today, Eyeless International. Straight away the share price went from less than 1 cent up to over 17 cents in February and again in March, before a steady decline to only 4 cents in August. And looking closer at the past week, we can see that this stock has been gaining steady since the beginning of the week, moving in this channel, before the release of the Q2 earnings report on Friday caused this to have a huge run up. I fully expect Eyeless to continue in this upward trajectory in the coming weeks, and we have got many upcoming catalysts to make sure that this stock holds its momentum. So guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Before I give you my final thoughts on Eyeless International, if you've watched all the way through, then hit that like button. It really helps the channel out a lot. And if you don't have a Webull account, you can sign up using my referral link and for a limited time you will get two free stocks worth up to $2,000 when you deposit only $5. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button and bell notification, follow me over on Twitter and join the new Facebook group. All links below. So what do I think? This is a stock that I've been watching for the past few months and I really can't believe that this stock has dropped to the level that it's at now. I fully expect this to move upwards and I can only see the current price as a fantastic opportunity. Over the past six months, this stock has been volatile, but has moved in a range between four cents and 17 cents. So the current price of 0.053 is very much on the low end of this stock's range. Importantly, anytime this has hit four cent, it has bounced off it and quickly made significant gains. Over the past few months, they have made huge progress, such as the partners with VJ and Melanian that we spoke about in the previous video, they have also made the acquisitions of Firebug, Bright Concepts and Vehicle Converters and are in the process of many more. They are operating in the United States, the United Arab Emirates and have potential to make government contracts in India at least through their partnership with VJ. And they are also securing many contracts in Dubai. So in my opinion the future is very bright for Ireland International. But this is just my opinion. If anyone is thinking about buying this stock I encourage you to do your own research. And if you find anything of interest that I've not mentioned in my videos, leave a comment down below and I'll look into it. As I said before, this is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. Thanks for watching the video, what are your thoughts on the future of Eyeless and how high do you think this will go? Drop a comment and I'll catch you in the next one.